Today, I've got a couple tech tips I'd like to share with you when replacing a compressor, whether it's a new compressor or a reamband compressor. After the compressor has been removed from the box and uh, other stuff is being done, like taking the labels off, getting the compressor ready to install, we're always gonna recommend to install it on the nose of the compressor for at least five minutes. Now, hopefully you've got a clean work surface. It's not gonna damage it. But by allowing it to sit in this manner, it's gonna allow the oil inside the compressor to run down to that front seal, helping lubricate it. That's gonna improve the longevity and the lifespan of this compressor. Now, once the compressor's on the vehicle, we've got the correct oil inserted into the compressor. We're gonna recommend rotating that compressor at least 10 times. Sometimes we receive phone calls on our tech line from technicians saying, this compressor seized up, I can't get it to rotate. Well, if this is a 10 piston compressor and it's got Teflon seals, you're looking at probably 20 tight seals in there. This is gonna be very difficult to turn initially. That's where a technician might wanna use a spanner wrench, which is gonna help give a little bit of a mechanical advantage to help rotate that compressor, pumping the oil out of the pumping chambers there. Again, when the compressor's been installed on the vehicle, the system's been recharged, before we actually turn the key and fire the engine up, again, I'm gonna recommend to rotate this at least 10 times. I'm gonna make sure any liquid refrigerant and any liquid oil is out of those pumping chambers so we don't cause the compressor to slug or hydrolock, causing complete catastrophic failure of the new unit. So again, once it's mounted, we're gonna rotate it at least 10 times. Maybe you gotta use a spanner wrench here. When you do start the engine and you engage the compressor for the first time, we're gonna recommend that you turn it on or off at least 10 times. What that's gonna do is allow that clutch surface to burnish and kind of wear itself in there. Get rid of any oil or debris or paint that may have been on there and make sure that we've got a good, clean contact mating surface there. Well, there's three tips for you to keep in mind next time you're installing a new or remand compressor.